Of all the things we eat and drink, wine has the power to tell stories, to evoke people and places like nothing else. It can also make us talk nonsense. But where wine really gets fun is when it becomes an excuse for an adventure in the most unexpected places, with the most fascinating people, in the most surprising of ways. So join me as we take a walk on the wild side of wine. Wine isn't often wild. Usually it's quite normal. But this place is anything but normal. I'm in Lebanon, a tiny but proud nation on the eastern end of the Mediterranean Sea, bordered by Syria and Israel. Now, from the outside, it's easy to think of Lebanon as a place of, of war, of, of noise, of sectarian violence, kidnapping, corruption, economic crisis, explosions. But I've also heard this is a place of epic history, from Phoenicians to Romans to Islam to Crusaders. This is a Crusader fort behind me. I've also heard it's a place of stunning landscapes, of generous hospitality, of, of delicious food, and also, yes, world-class wines. So is this really the place that gave the gift of wine to the world? If wine really is this ancient, how can it have survived the devastating violence through the years? And finally, what of the future for Lebanon and its wines? Time for an adventure.